Hi everybody, welcome to the QB School. I am JT O'Sullivan. Today we are looking at Kellen Mond preseason week one, fired up, let's dive into it. Welcome to the QB School. So before we dive into the video, quick reminder, we have revamped, relaunched the Quarterback School Patreon community, putting all sorts of content over there, getting really excited with this preseason stuff, looking at quarterbacks, how they're getting better, improving, where their gaps are maybe in their game. So if you're interested in taking your football knowledge, IQ, everything to the next level, hop over to the Quarterback School Patreon community. I sincerely appreciate the support. Lots of different ways to support the channel. Means a lot to me, means a lot to help this channel continue to grow, pump out the content that you enjoy. I enjoy making it. That's a great spot over there to be able to really understand and feel what it's like to be in an NFL quarterback room. Talking all sorts of detail, nuance of the game. Get over there, support the channel. As for this video, let's get it going. Kellen Mon preseason, week one, nine for 14, 119 yards, two touchdowns, 130 rating. We're breaking it down. Nice completion here to the check down. Not necessarily a nice play. What am I talking about? I'm talking about in my opinion, this ball needs to go right down the hash. It's at, He's either off of it too early, not trusting it, not seeing it, but, okay, big but, getting a check down off of a wrong read or a miss to me is not a bad way to go. So it's about whatever this route is up here, I'm going to guess it's some sort of Circus seven, he gets cloud, rolled up corner. It's not going to work. Come back, whatever. This little over the ball, so you can pull this thing up, whether it's you know an over that has the capacity to sit or a true called kind of deep hook. This ball, timing-wise, with where his eyes are, needs to be thrown. Now, is it perfect? No, because this guy's kind of in the way. But I really think that you could wrap this thing around this defender. So he drops here. He's got enough time, and this is big enough. He kind of settles like this. You throw this ball. You throw him open so that he catches this thing, spins, and goes. So, are we being picky? N not really. I mean, that that's wide open in the middle of the field. Throw it right down the hash. Right on the wide receiver's left shoulder. He's looking right at him. Got great base, timing of it. You got to let that rip. That's open. And, but, nice job getting to the check down. If you don't see it, say something flashes in your face for whatever reason, you don't see it. But now you can see right down the hash, huh? Look at the timing of it. See that space open up right down the hash? Rip that thing. That's there. But good things happen. Check it down. Get a completion. Keep the chains moving. Next. This is a really cool design here. Everybody's got a double move. This is essentially all stick nod. Now, is that a miss or is that a grab from the DB? Illegal contact down the field. You know, we're a quarterback show. We're going to call that a illegal contact that doesn't get called. I think he does do a decent job of throwing this down the field. Did he hit the friggin' pylon? Right on the money. Hard to do, y'all. Good throwing competition for you guys pregame. You're welcome. So what is this? So we talk a lot on this channel about condensed formations. So this is 2x2, two 12 with like a little squeeze. So got tight splits on both sides. What most people will run out of this is all stick. So quick out, stick. Quick out, stick. And that, that's the most common play, I would say. Not my favorite play. Now, what I do like out of this is quarterback school logo, four verticals. But to get there an even better way is to just make all these all stick double moves. So we're going to get a wheel. We're going to get a stick nod up the seam. Stick nod up the seam. And we're going to get a wheel. So it t essentially turns into four vertical spacing. But you've got four double moves. Pick your matchup. It's outstanding. Love the design. Like getting there from motion too. No. You can see that everybody's got a double move. Pick your double move. Throw it to your buddy. Oh, so close. 
in the pylon there just for fun. That's a really cool design though. And we'll call it a grab, not a miss. Although I think you can make the argument that it's both. Next, third and four. We're going to get, there's essentially nothing there. We've got a right to left read here going on with a little smash with some overs. Nothing. Okay. Now we're in scramble mode. Good vision down the field. Looking down the field. Except for whatever reason, we just miss a guy. Double mailbox, back line to the side that we're going. So we talk a lot about high back five. Look at 15 on the left here. So it's not there. No, no one thinks it's there. They're in drop eight. Great job staying alive. Now, that's double mailbox in the back right corner. Two hands up. <clears throat> throw it to me. For whatever reason, and I, I think you could also throw it to the front pylon too, to be honest with you, right there. But we're going to go back across. So, you know, just questioning vision, decision here, I think it's fair. You know, that's two touchdowns for me. The double mailbox is a for sure touchdown. You throw that thing on the front in, into the front row on a laser, and he can go up and get that thing. High back five. So high back five of the end zone. And I'm not saying it's the easiest throw in the world. There's a chance you sky mail it and miss it. But you either put that thing on the front pylon right there or way up here above the screen. But you can see here, you know, you know that, that's another miss for me. Throwing it back like that, more difficult, harder. What is the read here? They're going to run some iteration of smash up top, so it doesn't matter which one of these guys goes to the corner. Someone's in the flat. We're getting to the over space here. Someone's in the shallow, and then someone's running the deep back line. Just a straight right to left, whatever it is. I don't I think maybe you could throw the over originally, the number three down here to the bottom. No to the smash. Yes to the over right there on the G. Right there. You know, but right tackle's kind of in his face, pushes him off of it. I like just staying alive. Great. Scramble, stay alive, drop eight. But right here, first of all, whoever the wide receiver is or whoever's the eligible up top on the S needs to be working to the front pylon. That's a touchdown for you. That's a high-low on the... Man, that's tough. That, that should be a touchdown. So just the scramble, football, vision. Not my favorite play from Mond here. And again, I, I get why he gets out of there. He, that right tackle gets pushed in his face, but I still... This to me is a throw. you, you got to be able to see that and make that throw because you got two good options to the right, but you're looking back left to a guy who's technically going to get a penalty if he catches it because he's ran out of bounds. See the back judge was with, with his hat on the ground, not wearing a hat. Tough. Next one, play action. Now this post up top, to me, a lot of people call this a drift post. It's wide open. You turn that down to throw essentially a turnover-worthy throw on this corner. This should be picked. So play action again. No to the drift. Mistake. Late corner probably should be picked. So what am I talking about? This, we'll call it a post drift. People call it a number of different names. Get in a tight split. You run kind of a burst release, and then you come in here. And there's a lot of flexibility in most offenses about what this angle looks like. You essentially have to run away from the corner. But you're going to beat him with the burst release, and you catch middle field close. There's, there's nobody here. This is a massive throwing lane in the NFL. Must throw. This is, you know, the, these are the ones that happen on time, on schedule that remind me of your boy Zim's comments last year. See him every day turn. If you see someone every day turn down things like this, I mean, it doesn't help that the corner falls, but even if the corner doesn't fall, and then to say, yeah, I'm going to throw this late corner down here, that's not open. That's got to be a perfect throw over the top. It's late. It hangs up there. Guy gets his hand on it too. This is a tough one for me. There, these are the ones you don't want on your film because these are on schedule, open turndowns. Meaning to me now, we, we've seen a few here that are vision concerning. Third and five here. Screen. This is there. This is going to be a, a chance for a, 
first down off of a screen pass, and we skunk this thing. We're, bur we're burning gophers here. This is tough. This is, this is a brutal miss on just a normal screen. I mean, that is at the ankles. Now, could he catch it? Maybe, but that's <laughs> crazy unnecessary difficult, especially when the defensive end takes the B-gap with the spin. I mean, he's doing you a favor. Cool spin. Thanks. I'll take that. Oh, my God. The, that is a tough, brutal miss. Third and five. Again, check out the first uncovered lineman, the right guard. He's coming out, comes out flat. He's going to get the guy who's got the back. You know, is he for sure going to get a first down? Probably, maybe not. He's probably going to catch this thing and get back inside. We're right here. We've got the first one out. He's going to take the most dangerous. He's going to get right behind him and collision for a first down. That's got a great chance for a first down or a fourth and one. You can't skunk this. This is a throw. This is like a walkthrough throw. You, you cannot put this ball on the ground like this. This is all on the quarterback. And there's, there is no excuse. There is no, hey, we can mechanically fix this. You, you can't do this. Fortunate, though, they're down by so much. Just go for it on fourth and five. Halftime, you dig the channel and you haven't already, please subscribe, hit the bell, get the notifications. It lets you know when we go live, when we put out new content. I sincerely appreciate the support for the channel. Again, Quarterback School Patreon community, relaunched, revamped. Check it out. Link is in the description. In addition, we've got a bunch of free tools available in the description to this video. We've got a Pass Pro quiz, a play calling tool, keys to RPOs, anything and everything over there. And then finally, the absolute premium content, the Quarterback School courses, a bunch of different courses, really in-depth, my favorite content that I create through the channel. Get over there, check out the courses. All of them can be found in the video description. I appreciate it. As for this one, let's keep it going. So we go for it on fourth and five, and he makes a beautiful throw up top to a corner by the number one receiver. Now, this is a crazy funky defense. Not really. The way they get there is funky. It's just, in my opinion, an iteration of cover two, really Tampa, drop eight. They do a nice job getting there for the corner to put that stretch on that flat defender to the field. But watch the corner up top. I mean, they're not doing themselves any favors here with how they're trying to, to hide this coverage. I'm, I mean, this is where defensive guys crack me up. We're trying to make this look like closed, right? This, this looks like closed, three deep coverage. Well, technically, Tampa is three deep. So we're going to get the middle hook. But now he's, or the deep hook, I should say. Now he's playing half. Now he's playing half. So you're just essentially voiding that deep hole area. You're just saying he he can't make this throw. And right here he can. He just comes up here and hits this corner route. He gets something in the flat to hold the flat defender. And this this is just this is way too easy. Fourth and five, drop eight, and the guy is this wide open defensively. I mean, you don't see <laughs> you just don't see corners do this very often. They're just giving you anything you want out there. It's a that's a gift. We'll take it. Thank you very much. Mon throws these balls usually really well. These kind of like down the field intermediate seven irons, I call them. Like not necessarily a laser drive hole shot, but like just enough touch. Certainly the arm strength to be able to rip it out there. But it's a it's more of a see it throw it than an anticipation type touch throw. Next one touchdown down here to the bottom of the screen number two slant. To me, another example of probably poor defense as far as the leverage on the number two nickel defender, 41. But Kellen Mond's not going to apologize. Catch it, let it rip. Catch a little bare minty. Nice throw, nice catch. Contested. That's the body on the break. So when you get down here to this red area, this is, we'll call this bare or mint, tight, whatever you want to call it, middle linebacker, essentially zero. Now, they're in empty. You can be outside leverage here because you've got help with the mic, but you can't be outside leverage here. No one's going to help you in here unless they try to pass this thing off, and by the time they pass off a slant, this thing is over. So you, you're going, you know, is that head up? It, to me, it looks like he's slightly outside leverage. So you catch slightly outside leverage versus slant. I mean, this is, even if it is good coverage, which it, it's not bad coverage, 
you just don't not giving yourself a chance if you're not head up or inside. Crap. Nice throw from Mondo. Again, decisive, get the ball out quickly, make a good decision in the quick game, find a completion. There's some things to like here. Executing in the red area, this is a tight condensed window. And that's a nice throw. Next one, another nice corner route down here to the bottom of the screen. Really nice base from Mon here. Again, not an anticipation throw, but that same type of throw I was talking about earlier, that kind of mid-range, down the field, seven iron, see it, get it there. Again, check out his drop and his base. Slight dovetail, base really nice. Sees the guy run open, gives him a shot, shows a little bit of touch arm strength but again you know he's not anticipating this throw nor does he really have to I should say this is one of those ones that really shouldn't be open they've got us here leverage on both the post so what am I talking about leverage wise here this is where the ball ends up going he throws a corner versus that coverage now for me I'm probably off that pretty quickly unless this dude is a dude then we've got a post coming back short post coming back here and they've got inside leverage on us. They've got this thing locked up, and they lose both spots. Okay, this, this wins, and the corner wins. Pick your winner. Everybody's a winner. But for me, you know, for Mond moving forward, I would love to see any type of anticipation. This might not be the specific throw where you would want to see it because you got to see him win because he, he doesn't have the leverage. But there is no anticipation. It, there, are, It's a lot of see it open, drill it. And you can get away with that when you've got a great arm. And you're a good athlete. Next one. This is a really nice read. So no down here to the left. Yes to the in. Everybody who watches this channel knows that I love a good in right down the hash. Again, left to right read. One, two, no. Right down the hash. And this is a really nice throw. Check out. There's someone in his face. The right guard's getting pushed back in our lap. No, you know, we can't get through that throw. That's like the old phone booth throw. Almost like jump throw. Uh, that's a, this is a very nice play. Really nice rotational force from Mon. Boom. He's a strong dude. Really nice play. Again, watch just the read here left to right. So you get like an out in a corner down here to the bottom. No. Yes to the little wrap in with the tight end gather in front of them. Really nice job. In kind of a two minute situation here, but I love the left to right this sudden boom, decisive. Nice job. Last one here, touchdown. This is a really cool design. Third and 11. Watch the number three receiver, number 25. He's running the wheel. Okay, that's the touchdown. Now watch the number one receiver up top. He's going to get the rub on that guy's defender. You might call it a pick. I call it a rub, soft rub. Beautiful throw, though. Again, that same type of throw from Mond, that kind of touch seven iron. Really got this club in his bag. Again, there's someone right in his face. Right tackle's getting walked back. That's a nice throw, but it's, a, it's probably a better design than anything else. Really nice execution by that number one eligible out there. That rub right there. So, again, you know, this is a pretty... Cool design for a essentially fourth quarter preseason game. We're going to come up here, down, out, and up, old school, run to the tree, turn up. But the thing that makes it is right here. He's coming in, and he's going to just accidentally on purpose hit him with his shoulder and pretend like it never happened. That's the details of a precise drop back game. That's really, really nice. I love seeing this kind of execution especially late in the fourth quarter of a game and throw a touchdown. Beautiful. One more time, just a pocket from on here. Again, it's not a perfectly clean pocket. There's somebody right in his lap. You know, he can't really get through that throw. This is what playing quarterback in the league is. I mean, this is pretty clean. He doesn't get hit here, but there's still somebody there. Nice touch. Love it. All right, that is a wrap. Kellen Mond, preseason, week one. Stat line, really nice. Two touchdown passes. There are some flash throws. There were also some really nice designed offensive plays in this game. 
But Kellen Mond showed splashes of what I think he does really well. That kind of seven iron, mid-tier, a little bit of touch, corner throw, where he can see the guy come open and drop it in, whether it's off a double move, whether it's on a deep corner, attacking the whole area of a defense. He does that really well. Now, the concerning part for me, I think, was really a lack of vision on certain plays, turning down what I think are on-schedule open throws down the middle of the field is a problem. And then just for me, what I want to see is some sort of anticipation. There's just no anticipation in any of these throws. And so you have to be able to slowly bleed that in to your kind of catalog of throws and clubs to be able to pull from because you're not always going to be able to see someone come open and then just rip it. And so eventually that's going to need to evolve into his game. But overall, nice performance, goes out there, rips a couple touchdowns, protects the ball for the most part, does a nice job. We'll see what it looks like moving forward. Thank you so much for hanging to the end. I will see you next time. Have a good one.